I'm Python. In this video, I'm going to discuss about SQL Alchemy and also we call it as the SQL Alchemy. So let's talk about it. So what is SQL Alchemy? So the SQL Alchemy is mainly used for Python programming language. I would say Python's SQL toolkit and also this we call it as the object relational mapper so that in simple words we call it as ORM right if you if you look at the some programming languages like Java we have the one of the ORM or ORM called hibernate so we use the similar kind of thing here in the SQL um, and also we can use the same thing in the uh, Python so Python we use the uh, this SQL toolkit is something we call it as the uh, SQL Alchemy that's called ORM. In Java we have the Hibernate. So now let's focus on this uh, example and what scenario we go for it. I, I don't know SQL but I am good at programming language like Python, maybe Java, something like this. So in that case it is most preferred. So you can write a code in programming language to create a tables to insert a data into the tables or you can do any other SQL operations like uh, update the data or like delete the data and all. So uh, example you don't need to write the queries in the SQL structure but you can go it uh, writing the uh, some object format you can write the code in the object format that objects internally mapping to the SQL data. So that's that's where like object relational mapper comes into the picture right so it is completely ORM you can write a code in Python but the Python code can internally interacts with your SQL object that's where this 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 helps a lot and more importantly uh, this uh, SQL alchemy is it can work for many databases okay that we can discuss later and the first edition was released in the 14th February 2016 and exactly on the Valentine's Day and who actually uses this SQL Alchemy SQL Alchemy uses using in the Dropbox company and Reddit and Elf and SurveyMonkey and OpenStack there are many companies are using it but the few of them I have listed as for the documentation and also the key features of the SQL Alchemy is no ORM required what does it mean right so you just wait and in future sessions I will explain that no ORM required so you're a little confused in the previous I said it's a ORM now I'm saying no ORM required I will talk about it and DBA approved and unit of work and separate mapping and class designs and it supports Python 2.5 to Python 3.x and of course JPython and PYPR this, these things will get more about in the upcoming sessions. I will give you more idea. Okay. And coming to this, uh, it supports many databases. Earlier I said like the SQL Alchemy, it, it supports many databases, especially SQL databases. You can see the list here mostly like talks about the SQL databases. SQLite 3, Postgres and uh, Oracle, uh, SQL Server, especially SQL Server 2012 above. 2012 above that versions can support a lot mysql and sybase and firebird all these databases supports a lot and remember all these are the sql databases and coming to this the current release of the uh, sql alchemy is the 1.4 and uh, there is a big release is coming on the way and uh, mostly like we are waiting for that and that's 2.0 which is really big there are many features are adding into the SQL alchemy that we can discuss in the upcoming sessions what are those changes and also like uh, development version is in the github and the MIT license just for your information so and more important thing is about the SQL alchemy is there are it works with technically you have to use some methods for example I want to connect with uh, some server and some database server I have to go with the connect method if I want to execute any SQL statement for example I want to insert the data into the table then I can use the execute command and the begin dispose driver as yes, drivers are very important and we are calling it as a dialect and we use the engine engine is nothing but a database server and dialect is like a driver which is which is the driver name for example i have the my mysql database 
So I'm going to use the MySQL server engine and connect with the MySQL server driver. And uh, also like we have the different functions here, table names and a transaction. It's specific to the uh, database transactions which you do on the uh, particular database. And also we have the data types here. If you ask me why we need data types, as I said earlier, we are going to write a code in the Python. This for this, for example, there is a database column uh, which is related to the integer and we use the uh, big integer or numeric or small integer. It depends on the integer size and we have the boolean values. We have the date and date time float integer. All these data types are very important when you write a code in the Python program which should interact with the particular columns into the database tables right uh, don't worry i will tell you all these things practically in the upcoming sessions you will get more idea i'm just giving the overview what is this and uh, yeah the sql alchemy is like for example if you want to connect to the database yes this is the code example code and you need to import the sql alchemy package i will tell you how to install how to do it and all don't worry about it and we are going to use the engine engine is going to tell like uh, of course, which driver you use? Is it the MySQL? You use the uh, Postgres, like what is the password and port number for the particular database which you are connecting? You can see everything is on the screen. Dialect, okay, and the driver, and the username, password, and host name is nothing but server name, and your port, which port you are using on the database server, and what is the database name which you are want to connect. All these things which we are going to give it here. And these are the conditions like for example i want to retrieve the particular uh, condition based sql query then you can use this select star from person where gender is equal to female example this is the example code of the sql same code if you want to write in the sql alchemy you are going to write in the python right that's where like db dot select of person where person dot columns dot gender is equal to f so same sql query you are writing in the python code that means you don't need to worry about the SQL code, SQL data, like SQL queries. You can write code onto the Python. So this way it can help the, the Python programmers to write a code. This code is an example for order by, but we'll see the practical how it works with the uh, our future sessions. Look at this, this is a SQL Alchemy website and uh, you can see this here the current release 1.4.40 okay and also there are other things and next major release is the 2.4 this is what i was talking about and you should go through this website you will get more idea what is this sql alchemy which is getting an idea right and uh, so if you look at the uh, sql alchemy uh, major migration guide um, <laughs> basically this sql is released from the uh, python 1.x and now it's going to the uh, python 3 right it, it supports python 2 also right okay but i'm not going in that way and uh, you look at this a lot of new features are coming up on the sql alchemy 2.0 i'll take you one other session like uh, we'll get more idea how to deal with uh, uh, SQL 2.0 migration process if you already access SQL Alchemy 1.0 so you'll get some idea but still it is in the development phase and it's not yet released and it's going to be very big release uh, coming up uh, in the SQL Alchemy so and also like uh, uh, you can go to this uh, some documentations you'll get an idea what is this view this is about how to download it for example if you want to download it um we can also use the pip commands to download it and also like uh, we can download it from the directly here yeah, some major releases uh, some latest point releases and their documentations everything was given but uh, we'll see uh, i will take you to the actual practical sessions we'll get more idea okay so let me know if you have any questions on this topic we can discuss further more like if you are specific to the any requirement also let me know i will try to help you yeah yeah and also we have the code demos in the next video i will discuss about thank you so much for watching this session i'll get back to you into the next session with the more details in the practical way